A press conference was held earlier this morning at the New Forest Cemetery, where the We the People candidate for Oneida County Sheriff Jim Scarcilli outlined his ideas for the future of the New Forest Cemetery if elected. Eyewitness News reporter Shelby Pay has the details. I've been personally following the status of the New Forest Cemetery closely, so when I heard that candidate Jim Scarcilli was announcing new maintenance ideas for the property moving forward, I was anxious to learn what his plans would entail if elected. The work program would certainly be a big benefit to the community and would provide the opportunity for the inmates to rebuild their dignity and move back towards being a productive citizen. The work program that Jim is referring to is the Oneida County Inmate Work Program, which would allow certain inmate volunteers to be paid and receive sentencing credit in exchange for working jobs that teach them a new skill and benefit the community. So funding for this program, again, could be coming from some of that money that was allocated to the United County. There was $44 million from the ARPA, the American Rescue Plan Act. So why can't we tap into it and use it towards a positive program such as the inmate work release? But while this idea seems good on paper, current Oneida County Sheriff Robert Mayshall explains the legal obstacles with this plan for starters, it's illegal to use public funding on a privately owned property, or in this case cemetery, which New Forest officially is now that a board has reconvened. You, you, you can't perform work on private property, so it's just you're using public funds to perform work on a private property, which is not allowed. Using this as an example, where there's significant growth of grass and weeds and brush, and you're going to need commercial equipment to get this situation under control. There is no one anywhere that can get large commercial equipment in which you're gonna be allowed to have an, an incarcerated person, an inmate, operate this vehicle. Not only is that that they're not trained, it's a huge liability. Um, so, so again, it's just, e it's easy to say these things, but again, you've got to, we have to know our limitations. I mean, and I'll be speaking with the newly appointed cemetery board members in the next few days, so stay tuned for an update on their plans moving forward. Reporting in Utica, I'm Shelby Pay, Eyewitness News.